Yo, what's up guys? This is Midnight Wabbit and welcome to the first episode of my exotic weapons guide here on, I almost said Borderlands, here on Destiny. Um, and what we're going to be looking at today is a sniper rifle called the No Land Beyond. And normally I wouldn't start off with this because this is a DLC weapon actually. This is from the Dark Below expansion. It was released in December, about a month ago. So uh, it's a DLC weapon, so normally I wouldn't start with a DLC weapon. Um, this is just uh, the one I had all of the stuff recorded for right now, and I just, I just, um, well, I figured why not. So, um, it's pretty cool. It is an exotic sniper rifle. It's not that, I'm going to tell you guys right now, it's not that great, but it is pretty cool, if that makes sense. It's like, it's not an amazing gun, but it's, it's a pretty cool gun to use. So, let's get into it. What I'm going to do here is I'm just going to go ahead and go through these. I'm going to let you guys watch in the back and you can see right there, primary care means it is equipped as a primary, unlike most sniper rifles in this game. I'm going to go ahead and read from the wiki real quick. Uh, no Land Beyond is an exotic level 20 sniper. It can be equipped in the primary weapon slot. No Land Beyond can be purchased from Zerv for 17 strange coins, get, given as a reward for a strike. Um, it can be got, getting, for, get, get, getting. It can be... It can be obtained from the Crucible or uh, from Raid Chest, which is where I got mine. I got mine from a Raid Chest in Crota's End. Now, I'm assuming that only the Crota's End is the only one that the Raid Chest actually dropped this gun. I don't think the Vault of Glass Raid Chest would drop this gun, mostly because of the fact that it is a DLC gun. So I'm assuming it would be from the DLC Raid, but I'm not positive. That's just where I got it from. But I know for a fact you can get it from the Crucible uh, as a reward for a strike or something like that. I'm not sure if you can get it from an Engram or not. I'm not sure if you can get uh, DLC exotics from Engrams. I'm not entirely sure. Now you can get it from Zer if he has, he has a chance to be selling it for 17 strange coins. Um, so basically, whatever way you it's it's pretty, it's pretty random in this game. Whatever way you end up getting it is fine. Now it has an upgrade right here called the Master, which increases precision damage and. Uh, kills briefly increase the damage against the next target, which sounds good, except it doesn't increase the precision damage enough for it to be really, really good. This gun would be really, really cool. I th actually, you know, I'm going to save that for the end. I'm going to talk about my opinions about it and stuff. But let's just go ahead and show you guys where to get it and stuff. This is where I got it. It's a little bit different than Borderlands. There's not like one place that has a higher chance of dropping. I mean, like, obviously, you can guar you're guaranteed to get it if Zer is selling it or something like that. And you have 17 strange coins, you're guaranteed to get it. But, I mean, it's random kind of where it'll show up. So this is the beginning of the Crota's End raid, and the first raid chest I go to, I end up getting this sniper as a reward from that chest, like I said. So I don't know if it's just this raid, the DLC, which is what I'm assuming, but if you, anyone's gotten it from Vault of Glass, let me know. I'm kind of curious. If you guys have gotten it from the Vault of Glass, uh, let me know. Never heard of that happening, but I know you can get it from Crucible uh, rewards for strikes and stuff. I'm assuming you can get it as a reward for, like... Um, what's it called maybe the Eris missions or something I don't know maybe it has a chance to get I'm not sure but anyway you can see right here it's not bad it's a really cool concept for a sniper rifle because it's a primary and it's a bolt action you can see right there you have to pull back the slide in between each uh, shot so it, it's a pretty slow rechamber in between shots and it doesn't have all that much damage now what I think would be cool this is not exactly what they did. I mean, this is kind of what they did, but they didn't do it to enough of a degree where it would be cool. They, it needs to have, like, an insane amount of precision damage. I mean, like, more, like, what, even, this is, this game plays without the upgrade, but even with the upgrade, I've used it. It's not that great. Like, the precision damage, it still doesn't output that much more precision damage, and the kills against the next target once you get a kill is not increased by that much. Now, I think... I definitely think the kills against the target or whatever could probably be the way it is. They probably don't want that to be too overpowered. But I think the precision damage, because of how slow the fire rate is and how hard it is to handle because of the iron sights, you don't actually have like a precision scope or anything. I think any precision damage, like critical hits with this gun, should deal like more damage than any other gun in the game, critical hit wise, I think, in my opinion. Now, that's just, I don't think that's really what they did here. But I think that's, in my opinion, I think that would be the best way because you can see it like right here it'd still be hard to use but very very rewarding if you use it correctly uh and right now it's kind of 
it's fun. It's fun to use. Like you can see, if you can actually get a critical hit, you can kill most minor enemies in one shot. But you I mean you can do that with any sniper if you hit a minor enemy with it. Really, if any decent sniper, and this is an exotic, so I mean you don't expect it to be total shit. You expect it to at least be able to kill things, which it kind of can. Just not like stuff like the, a Minotaur or something like that. It can't really be that all all that effective against it, unfortunately. But um, I don't know. I don't know if they're going to buff it or anything. I don't probably won't, but that's basically just my opinion, guys. Uh, if you get it, it's still an exotic weapon, and it's still cool to use, especially if you're doing, like, patrol missions where the enemies are lower levels than you. You can just mess around with it and still get one-hit kills and stuff. It's still fun to use. It's just uh, it doesn't output that much damage. You definitely want to aim for the critical hits, even... Uh, but even before you get that one upgrade, but once you get that one upgrade, it should it'll it is better. It is noticeably better, but not enough to for it to be an exotic. I don't think. I think it I think it should definitely. And like I said, all this gameplay is without that, so I'm, just, I'm sorry I don't have any footage of it with the upgrade enabled. So I apologize for that. Um, but I just didn't get a chance to up to upload or not to upload to record any gameplay with this with that uh, with that perk or ability upgrade enabled. But anyway, um, hopefully you guys did enjoy this. If you did, please be sure to leave a like and a comment. Subscribe if you have not already for more content and stuff. I'm going to try to bring you guys another exotic weapons guide tomorrow. And if I do upload it tomorrow, the next one I'm going to be uploading, whether it's tomorrow or Friday or, or anything like that, it, this is one of my favorite guns in Destiny. And you guys are going to see you're going to see it and see why I like it and stuff. And it just, it just looks, looks really cool as well. So hopefully the next episode of the Exotic Weapons Guide will be up. Uh, I, may have some, I may have something else up tomorrow and do that on Friday. I'm not exactly sure, so you guys will just have to wait and see because I'm not entirely sure yet. But anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed, and I will talk to you guys later. Peace.